Hey guys, welcome back to Almost Inevitable Design. My name is still PK and I make WordPress tutorials for website developers and designers. Okay, so I've been working on this for quite a while. I mean, well, yeah, I have been working on this for quite a while uh, and I thought that it would become a pretty good tutorial. Okay, so I've been working on this tutorial for quite a while as well because I had to get that finished for the client. So this was um, based off of a client request. Um, what it is, is it you can have a form on the front end of the website and you can get regular people users <laughs> regular people users to submit through that form and it will save that data into a custom post type and then that custom post type can be used any way you want so what's a good example of that for example if you want somebody to submit a review that is not um, a testimonial or a review that is not WooCommerce, um, that is not Google review, uh, and something that you just want on the website anywhere you want. Like you want to just inject parts of that anywhere you want. And then that means that you can have people uh, submit their reviews and then you can display them as like either an archive or you can have them as a small list. You can do whatever you want. You can even categorize them if you're um, good with taxonomies. So they get submitted into a custom post type, right? Um, and that's compared to like WooCommerce reviews, WooCommerce reviews will have to stick stay on that product page. With this, it's a custom post type. It's your own separate custom post type, so you can just do whatever you want with it. Uh, how is that better than any other uh, plugin that does that? Well, you can customize your own output, so you can do whatever you want with it, right? Um, also, for example, uh, you can have like business directories. People can submit their own business and they can actually have their own directory and you can you can take that custom post type, like for example, a directory or a business, like custom post type name is business and you can take that and publish it on the website, make like a, a, a whole list, like filterable list if you wanted to, that kind of stuff. That's all doable uh, if you have a user front end user facing form for people to easily submit content and it will stay on your custom post type. There's a lot of ways that you can use this. An even, an even more clever way is like if you have like a, a client, right? Like you can have a client portal. You can have a client portal, they can input all their info and then you can keep it on your website, not only on your website, but you can actually make your own client portal page where they can access all their info and see what's going on. You can add to it. They can upload their own stuff and you can add to it. You can edit it if you want. There's a lot of stuff you can do. Now, the only problem with this is that if it is fully public, if everybody, anybody can see it, it might be a problem because that means that you can, you might have, you might have like spam bots coming in and spamming all your custom post types. We don't want that. So a good way to do that, a good way to block that would be to have it behind a login or uh, a membership, which is the same as a login, but you can have like a private page where uh, people have to put in a password or you can have that page just simply password protected. Uh, even just a no index, if it's a low profile site is fine. In a lot of cases, like people can't find it. As long as they can't find it, as long as they can't search for it, it's usually fine. But if you want to be extra safe, you can have it behind a password, you can have it behind a membership, that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of ideas that you can use with it as long as you're creative with how you're setting things up. Okay. So that's what we're going to get into. You're going to make it all custom yourself. Pretty much. Uh, the only thing we're going to add is ACF. Okay. Now, before we get into this, I've also, because this was a client request, I've looked into this and I, I found, uh, gravity forms has a gravity whiz add-on that will allow you to add a front end submission into front end form submission into a custom post type and it will map it out. That is possible, but it is not, I've tried that and I wanted to go that route, but it wasn't as uh, good in, wasn't as detailed or what didn't allow as much um, detail and customization as you would have if you used ACF. And if you know anything about me and my tutorials and my courses and whatever I, how, however I build things, I love ACF and I use it a lot and we're going to use it on the front end. Okay. 
All right, so this is going to be a few, this is going to be split up into a few different parts because there's a lot of stuff to cover, but I will have all the code. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll see the link to my website that has all the code there. You can copy paste that. You can uh, download the plugin that I put together and edit that. Don't, you can't use it directly. You got to edit it uh, because some uh, fields will not be the same, right? Uh, but you can, you can take that plugin, you can download that. Uh, edit it. You can use the plugin from my website that customizes things. Uh, you can use that custom plugin if you want. Uh, and you can basically make your own little thing and it will be separated from everything else. Okay. So that means that even if everything updates or whatever happens, that part, that code that you put together will stay there. Okay. Now, because I'm doing this in different parts, another thing that I'm going to do is I, I normally, not normally, I have now started using uh, predominantly breakdance, uh, sometimes oxygen, but predominantly breakdance, and they both breakdance and oxygen both. You can use, you can out export them into a loop module very easily. Okay, so you can display them anywhere you want very easily. Now, if you're using some other uh, page builder, like for example, if you're using Divi or Elementor or Beaver, you can have public uh, custom post type archives, but a lot of times it will look almost the same as the regular post cards. Okay. Like, uh, the blog cards, which means it might not be up to what you want to do with it. Okay. It might not look the way that you want it to. So I will also in that in those in like one of the other videos of this series, I will also discuss how to use it. Uh, how to export it as a short code. Okay. Now the front end form will also be in a short code, but be, that makes it easier for you to drop it in anywhere. Right. Uh, as opposed to just using uh, PHP directly in, in the, in the, on the page. Right. So, um, it'll be, it'll be wrapped up inside a short code, which is great, but exporting, if you have a loop module in your builder, that's fine. Uh, and if it's easily customizable, that's fine. But if it's not, then I will give you a short code that you can use that can export that however you want. And you can edit the HTML to make it work the way you want. Okay. All right. So this will be cut up into a few different videos, just letting you know. And right now we're going to start with, um, getting into the, the, the website. Okay. The, the environment. Okay. Here we are. Uh, <clears throat> so as you can see, uh, this is, Oh, not as you can see, but this is just a, a sample page that I used uh, for making a uh, breakdance content, like a course. So um, it has breakdance here and it has some other stuff included, uh, like WooCommerce, because I have to explain all that. But that's not important right now. What is important is that I have this extra plugin. All right. It's a front end submission custom plugin. And this is on localhost, which is why all the stuff is in here. Okay. So you can see that is this folder. Okay. So we're going to actually edit the files directly here. Uh, but if you want to edit the files on your, uh, live on your server, what you can do is you can go to plugin file editor. Now, if you cannot find this, if you're using like a, a SoFly plugin, for example, both oxygen and breakdance do this. Um, if you don't find, if you can't find the file editor directly, um, that means that your theme, might not be uh, set as an old legacy theme. Okay. If you use a full site editor theme, which is the most recent ones like 2023 and 2022, they have full site editing and they don't have the customize button here and the file editor cut button here and all that kind of stuff. It's a little different. Um, and they don't have the favicons, favicons, favicon is how you say it. I learned that the hard way by saying favicon for decades. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, getting the favicons set up and everything you need to use one of the old themes and that opens up this, uh, file editor. Okay. So, uh, if you are, if you want to do this, upload the file that you download from somewhere down the link, link and the page, uh, the page linked down below and, um, nope, not this one. Sorry. This one. Okay. And you will see this stuff. Okay. Now you can edit directly in here. It's a little more tricky to do it here because uh, it, it's, it's not as good with color coding as it is with uh, a dedicated 
uh, text editor. So, yeah. Anyways, this is the file that is in here, and I'm going to be using that. I'm going to be using this. Okay. All right. So the way that this is set up is that it uh, requires ACF to be installed. Now this is the free version of ACS, ACF. So that means this whole thing works without using a custom plugin, uh, without using a premium plugin. It just works with ACF free and just copying and editing the co code that I give you and it'll work. Okay, so that's great. Now, I always add ACF columns because I think ACF columns is very useful. It allows a little better control over how the ACF fields are presented on the back end and the front end, um, rather than changing the percentages because those percentages are uh, floating. So they sometimes stack left and it's a little, it gets a little wonky at times. So I like to use proper columns so it'll uh, segment them up into columns properly, but that's not important here. Uh, we're, we don't, we won't care about that too much in this tutorial because you will be making your own stuff. I am just demonstrating and showing you how to do it and what to edit to get there. Okay. So, uh, that's what we're doing here. Okay. So we got ACF here. I have ACF pro. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to activate that because that's not needed. We're just going to use the free version. Okay. Okay. Now that's what this is. And there's nothing else here. And what we're going to do is we are going to add some PHP. Okay. Uh, this, if you are using, well, you're using a plugin, so it won't matter at all. But if you're using a child theme, this can also go into functions.php. All child themes have function.php. All themes should use a child theme uh, because it has functions.php and it keeps everything safe. So that's good. And that's what you're, that's what we're going to do. All right. So we are going to, and well, this is a plugin, so it doesn't really matter, but if you want, like I said, if you want things wrapped up inside your theme, your custom, your child theme, your custom theme, then, um, you might want it in the theme folder, same thing functions PHP. Otherwise it'll be here in the, in the plugin. Okay. So this is what you add. Okay. Now this code, like I said, is provided in the link to the page down below. Or if you're on this page already, then it's somewhere here. You scroll down, you'll find it. Uh, and what this does, I'll explain some parts, okay? And of course, I'll have all the reference links that you can check to go and learn how things work, okay? Uh, I have everything over here. So I'll move them over here into this, this, this browser window here. But what you're doing is you are adding you're running, you're adding a short code to WordPress. Okay. And it will run this function. Okay. And this function is over here. All right. So it, it, it'll work. Okay. So if you put in, um, a short code like this, oops, if you put that in there, then it will expand into, uh, the form. Okay. Now this is all great. Okay. That's, this is how you do it. This is how you register a short code and you're going to use ACF form to do this. All right. I'll explain this in a second, but if you look at this, it says ACF form. Now, is that good enough? Actually, you need to add this in there. Okay. I should have, I should have started with that. Um, but if you want ACF forms to run on a page, then add this function in the WP head, run that in the WP head and it'll work. So you probably should end up copy pasting this whole thing. Okay. And you'll see that in, in one block down below. Okay. Okay. So back to this, um, the post ID, you're just going to use a new post, uh, post title. Now the post title when, so when you're submitting a post, it will have a post title and the content. Okay. So that also means, um, uh, where'd it go? Yeah. So that also means you can do something like this. You can also do this, right? That means that, uh, things will load in 
oops, in here. Okay. So if this were PHP, um, you know how like in the old olden times you had the classic editor and you had that WYSIWYG uh, text box. That whole part that is called the content, right? And if you go to a post page, post editing page, you have the title and you have the content. And if you want that to be an extra field that shows on the front end when people are submitting, then you put in true. If you don't want that, just put in false, all right? Uh, you most likely will not be using post content, I don't think, but if you do, if you want like a main body part for that, then do that, okay? I won't use it, right? I'll leave it like that, I'll save that. Now. For the testimonials, uh, you can, it can be uh, uh, reviews. Let's let's use reviews. Testimonials. Yeah, let's use reviews. Post type is AI reviews. We'll get to that in a minute. Well, because we need to set up a custom post type for all these forms to be saved into, right? Okay, and this is a submit value. That is the button. That that is a text that goes inside the button. Okay, and post status. It says published. Now a lot of people. I've seen when they ask this question, if it's possible or not, a lot of people want to be able to control the publishing because sometimes it might, you might get spam. Sometimes you might get, um, uh, bad reviews <laughs> and you don't want to, you don't want that published. All right. So in that case, what you can do is you can say publish or you can say, uh, draft. Okay. And it'll still work. Okay. Now, um, I'll show you some pages that show this right now that, that you just saw that part draft you can see right here right post status draft yep that's it so you'll have these links in your in in, in the in the post okay and the acf form part is here so there's a lot of other um things that can go inside the array that you can load uh you can add a lot of stuff you can add extra stuff you can have um like HTML messages that show once it's all done. So there's a lot of stuff you can do. Okay, so check this out and you can add it here and that's how that'll work. Okay, now the only thing left here that I haven't explained yet is the field group array. Okay, and the field group array comes from s starting a new field group. Okay. Uh, these field groups have IDs. Now, if you hover over, oh yeah, you don't have to hover. You can just add new and you'll see if I save something, um, submit reviews front end. Okay. And I'll leave that one text field there. Uh, let's have this name field. All right. Name field. Cool. All right. Save that. And you see, Oh, you, if you look at this, you'll see question mark post equals 132, okay? You want to use that, okay? So this will be 132, all right? Cool. So now this is ready. So if you put in front end form in a short code, then it will show the post title and it will show that name field that we just added there, okay? We'll get a little deeper in a minute uh, but this video ha is going past, it's going up to 19 minutes. That's a little too long. So we're going to cut it here and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. We'll talk more about this in the next video. All right. I'll see you there. Bye.